Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell about reminder theorem. It is used to find reminder when a polynomial divides with another polynomial. Generally we get reminder if we divide a number with another number like this 15 divided by 2 then we get a reminder 1. But if we divide a polynomial with another polynomial then we use long division method like this. So here the x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 this is a polynomial divides by x minus 1. So this is also another polynomial. So first write x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 here and write x minus 1 here and see the first term that is x cube. So x cube minus see the first term here that is x. So x cube minus by x is equal to x square. So write x square at quotient place and multiply this x square with x minus 1 then x square into x is x cube then x square into minus 1 is minus x square then subtract uh, these two terms from this then x cube uh, then you can put minus here and uh, plus here then x cube minus x cube will get cancelled and minus 3x square plus x square is minus 2x square then the next term is 4x so right here plus 4x then here the first term is minus 2x square so minus 2x square by here the first term is x so minus 2x square by x is equal to minus 2x so write at quotient place after x square minus 2x then minus 2x into x is minus 2x square and minus 2x into minus 1 is plus 2x then subtract again here so put plus here and minus then minus 2x square plus 2x square will get cancelled and plus 4x minus 2x is 2x plus here the next term is 5 so write here the next term then again uh, the first term is 2x so 2x by here the first term is x so 2x by x is 2 so write at quotient place plus 2 then 2 into x is 2x and 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 then subtract here then 2x minus 2x will get cancelled and plus 5 plus 2 here is 7 so here the remainder is 7 so reminder here is 7. Now I am going to tell you how to find the reminder without using long division method. So for this we have to use reminder theorem. Now I am going to tell you how to uh, use this theorem. So first this is the polynomial and this is uh, this polynomial divides with this polynomial x minus 1. Then first uh, in step 1 first make this f of x is equal to 0 f of x here is x minus 1 so make this into 0 that is x minus 1 is equal to 0 then x is equal to 1 so then replace this one into the first polynomial that is p of x so p of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 then find the value of uh, p of 1 that is equal to replace the x value as 1 then 1 cube minus 3 into 1 square plus 4 into 1 plus 5 that is 1 minus 3 plus 4 plus 5 that is equal to 7 so without using the long division method we can directly calculate the remainder by using this remainder theorem like this so now the remainder this p of 1 value is 7 this is the remainder so now we can say the remainder theorem like this if p of x is divided by x minus a then the remainder is equal to p of a now please go through the, with this example p of x is equal to x cube plus 2x square minus 3x minus 7 and f of x is equal to x plus 2 so here we have to divide this polynomial by this polynomial then we have to find the remainder is how much so first to make this f of x is equal to 0 so x plus 2 is equal to 0 then x is equal to minus 2 then replace this minus 2 value into this polynomial p of x so p of x here is x cube plus 2x square minus 3x minus 7 so now find the value of uh, p of minus 2 that is equal to minus 2 whole cube plus 2 into minus 2 whole square plus 3 sorry minus 3 into here x is minus 2 minus 7 that value is minus 1 so here the remainder is minus 1. So without doing the long division method we can directly calculate the remainder like this. This is another example. Find the remainder when x square minus 1 divided by 3 plus 2x. Here p of x is x square minus 1 and f of x is 3 plus 2x. So first make f of x as 0. 
then f of x is equal to 3 plus 2x is equal to 0, then 2x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to minus 3 by 2. Then calculate the value of p of minus 3 by 2. Then we know that p of x is equal to x square minus 1. So p of minus 3 by 2 is equal to minus 3 by 2 whole square minus 1 that is equal to 9 by 4 minus 1 that is 5 by 4. So here the remainder is 5 by 4. Now do these problems by using remainder theorem. This is exercise 2.3 from NCRT first problem. Find the remainder when x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by first polynomial is uh, x plus 1 and second one x minus 1 by 2 and third one x fourth one x plus pi and fifth one 5 plus uh, 2x. Here p of x is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. Here f of x is the, this one, this one and all these. So first to make these f of x as 0 then find x values then replace these x values into this polynomial then you will get these answers. Just go through with these answers. Second one. Find the remainder when x cube minus a x square plus 6 x minus a is divided by x minus a. So the answer here is 5 a.